This global high technology electronics company got where it is today by looking behind them. They make over 80% of the world's auto dimming automotive mirrors. And their corporate headquarters are right here in Zealand, Michigan. A workforce of over 3,600 people not only make mirrors, they make auto dimming window systems for aircraft, sophisticated electronics for lighting and safety in the automotive industry, and photo electronics for fire protection as well. Welcome to We Make It Here, right here in West Michigan. I'm the Vice President of Operations at Gentex Corporation. I'm in charge of manufacturing here at Gentex, and we make automotive safety products. We make mirrors uh, to make night driving safer. When I was in sixth grade, really, I thought about being a carpenter. Uh, I was always told by my parents to have a trade in my background, and I studied carpentry for a little bit, but uh, then engineering took over, and, and now I'm here. What were some of your favorite subjects in school? Uh, definitely math, uh, history, uh, and science. I like how things work. I've always been curious about uh, machinery and I like putting things together. And manufacturing was a natural fit for me. If you believe that you can do everything by yourself, uh, that's just wrong. And you need to understand, you need to rely on people and, and trust people. How far into the future does Gentex look ahead to, to plan for the latest products? The automotive cycle is usually seven to 10 years out. So uh, we'll be working with our customers uh, now on products that will be uh, launching in up to 2020. When Daniel Cantania was in middle school, Gentex just opened its new world headquarters in Zealand, Michigan. So Daniel, what do you do here at Gentex? I'm a manufacturing group leader. I have 45 people that report to me, including three engineers. My job on a daily basis is to make sure that we get the parts out that we need for the customer. And what do you make here? Basically, we make outside mirrors, and these are specifically electrochromic mirrors, so when the light hits it, the bright light hits it, it'll darken, uh, so it doesn't blind the, path, the driver in the car. Did you have some favorite subjects that interested you most in school? Um, I really was into history and math and science, but I didn't understand how important they would be growing up. But Gentex, math and science, as far as technology is concerned, is very important. Did you ever think that you would be doing what you're doing now? No, I didn't. At the time, in middle school, I thought I'd be a teacher or an MBA player, one of the two. <laughs> so tell me what your, the favorite part of your job is. My favorite part is working with people, um, getting to know them and making a difference in their lives, help them come to work and be happy. I want them to enjoy their jobs. That's my favorite part of the job. When Marcus Lenore was in sixth grade in 1986, Gentex was preparing to launch the world's first variably dimming mirror. So Marcus, what do you do here at Gentex? Well, I'm a um, project engineer for uh, Gentex, and we basically develop and design the test and measurement equipment. So we make auto dimming mirrors, but we make the equipment that actually tests the mirrors to make sure that they function and operate properly. What subjects would you suggest people really study? Uh, the big thing is going to be math and science. I mean, math is kind of involved with everything from balancing your checkbook to working on electronics to, to being a rocket scientist. Math and science are really the key things that can get you, get you a lot of places in life. There's a lot of opportunities out there, but when you get those opportunities, you want to take advantage of them. But do you have fun at work? Uh, yes, we have a lot of fun at work. About a year or so ago, we had a chili cook-off, and I made my world-famous barbecue chili, and obviously I won the chili cook-off championship because I have the trophy right here to prove it. It goes back to your question about having fun at Gentex and doing things the right way, and that, that's kind of part of it. So. When Angelica Velaz was in middle school in 1993, Gentex opened its Detroit office. So Angelica, what do you do here at Gentex? I analyze trend and negotiate our customer returns. My story started out on the production floor. I was actually making the mirrors and through a mentor that I had, he said, hey Angelica, how about you start going to school? I said, okay, and then from there, opportunities opened. 
I love what I do and I love coming in and I love learning. What was your um, favorite subjects in school and how did they help you today with your job? I really enjoyed history and science. From the science uh, standpoint, I would say it allowed me to be a little bit more innovative and that's kind of the foundation of Gentex innovation. Is there anything you wish you would have studied more of while you were in middle school to help your job today? Computers. We're a very tech savvy company, so you definitely need to learn computers and their software. This company may have gotten to where it is today by looking behind them, making the majority of the world's automotive mirrors, but they've stayed ahead by being a leader in innovation and technology. And they're looking to you, the next generation, to continue the Gentex legacy.